Gotta love it. Little sound of the highway. That's a motors. It's like, no, great. <laughs> a Jeep. Uh, just because of the tires, I guess. And at my little Pondex here. But the uh, only thing is I'm going to be using some live bait. One's big, one's small. I think they're both bluegill. One might be red-breasted sunfish. Uh, the, but the thing is, I'm going to be throwing pretty much strictly top water. Otherwise, I have my bobber set up almost ready. I just need to put the hook, not have the hook on. I just need to send it out. And I'm going to be using the bigger one of these first, which isn't really saying all too much. I think he's only like four inch. Eh, he's probably a little bit big. Or than that. <sighs> See, do I go mouth? I think that's the way to do it. Thankfully, he was when I was holding him to hook him, he was nice. But yeah, this should be perfect for like a nice medium to big bass to to munch. Hopefully this guy doesn't move around too much and get in the way though. I can't even cast him far. That's weird. Oh, he's <laughs> he's going on his own little adventure it looks like. I'm going to give him a bunch of slack. The one downside is going to be this is really the only place I can fish to unless I walk way over to there. Well, feeding off top water, they sure aren't feeding off live bait, the more realistic choice. That's crazy. Now the fish won't do anything at all. Pretty decent one to hit it. So, I mean, it's pretty decent hit. Jesus Christ. Always a uh, interesting battle with the small ones to get it off. That's not a very big one. It's bigger than the last, though. That's more like it. Healthier looking fish, too. As in, like, bigger stomach. <laughs> My guy's moving more.
another one, same spot. Look like he's another quite small one. Okay, he's bigger, a little bit. Yeah, look at the belly, what the heck? Because he had one in his body and he wouldn't stop moving. That is not good at all. Right back in as soon as possible. It might be a half inch shorter. I'll try it out. And there's a normal Guggen. Are you serious? You should have. I had to have gotten that on film. A fish, a huge, large mouth, chased a bluegill out of the water, but it was. The bluegill got like four feet out of the air, four feet into the air. It would be nice for it to get a little bit colder, especially since I got a long sleeve to put on. Wow, I'm an idiot. That, that was probably the biggest of the day, but obviously it was a miss. Oh, okay, there's another one. Come on. How did he miss it? Hear that? I can compete too. Dude, you're telling me this guy fished here and he's given up this. This thing's so cool. Such a yellowish tint, some black to it. I don't know what this would even go to, honestly. Some of the stuff moving on the grass is it seemed pretty. That's a f no, that's a fish finally. Are you kidding me? And it's wrapped the thing like crap. Are you? Ugh. I am picking up some algae, which sucks greatly, but it's still plopping. So that's one. That's one. He's not too big. Oh my god, he's not even the biggest of the day, I don't... Okay, he's got some power to him. What? Okay, he is the biggest of the day. Because, what, he's 16, 17 incher? Maybe? I'm just going to hold him like this quick. Just to... Give it a good look for a thumbnail because I don't want to really lip somebody this mad. Thank God. Here's another look at him again. He's actually got a pretty big head, he or she, you know. Not a, not a big belly though. Okay then, he's still right there. Well, I'm gonna fish a little bit longer, but I'm gonna do this outro. I have uh, eight confirmed bites, four hooked, four caught.
I think maybe a, maybe one of those missed ones was hooked. Who knows? Uh, big was probably only like 17 inches max. Nothing crazy, but still fun to catch. Uh, and I happen to catch them at like 10 p.m. It's about 10:30 right now. I only got action on the plopper, and I really thought it was gonna be like that. I have fished uh, live bait here multiple times, at least two, and maybe even worms. I don't remember, but I'm usually throwing like good size uh, bluegill for like numbers of uh, types of bass to go after, but just doesn't want to work out. But at the same time, yeah, here's this uh, Guggen Squad plopper that I've been throwing half the time. I think got three out of the eight bites, one catch. And the other one got five and two, five bites, two catches. I tried a bunch of spots. It was only two spots that gave me any action too. This spot and the first spot. But the first spot kind of fished into the second, if I even have any, because uh, they're side by side. I don't know if I'm gonna even have any uh, video of that in this particular time, this particular video, but was pretty interesting. I'm really happy I caught something at night and I'm maybe gonna fish a little while longer or quite a while longer I'm definitely gonna fish a little while hopefully I get another bite uh, hopefully it is actually a catch as well but uh, thanks for watching <laughs> what the heck that's two at the exact same time two frogs toads whatever that it whatever they are